Early morning, barely visible in the smog, Delhi's iconic India Gate. For years, most people in the sprawling city of 23 million never questioned the quality of the air. Just a mix of desert dust and winter fog was the urban myth. But a 2014 World Health Organization study of 1,600 cities found India's capital has the most toxic air in the world, largely due to the highest concentrations of microscopic particles known as PM 2.5. We go on a rickshaw ride with American scientist Joshua Apte to test the air for ourselves. He's been monitoring Delhi's pollution since 2007. We're looking at um, levels of PM 2.5 right now that are around 250 to 300 micrograms per cubic meter, so 25 to 30 times higher than that long-term standard that we might care about. But everyone keeps talking about how bad it is in Beijing, but not so much in Delhi. I think that's really just a function of awareness. Levels in Delhi are about 45 or 50 percent higher than those levels in Beijing. Really? So the standard from the World Health Organization is 10. Typical levels in Beijing are just about 100 precisely. And in Delhi over the past few years, the average has been more like 150. Apte says to the naked eye, Delhi may not appear as bad as Beijing because PM 2.5s are practically invisible, but they're the most damaging to the lungs. Our children are falling sick, our elders are falling sick. To help residents cope with the bad air, entrepreneur Barun Agarwal has developed an air purification technique combining filters and plants. Ever since Delhi's pollution problems started making headlines, his sales have taken off. Every year, the problem is only getting worse. It's not getting better at all because we're adding 1,400 cars to our streets every single day in just the city of Delhi. Our, the quality of our fuel is very, very poor. We're still at Euro 3 and Euro 4 uh, fuel in India. Uh, and we're burning a lot of biomass during the winter time for people to stay warm in the, in the winter. As India makes economic development a priority, pollution levels are only set to increase. Studies show some 660 million Indians lose about three years of their lives because of the air they breathe. But for change to happen, experts say India's policymakers need to first catch wind of a problem they can no longer ignore. Zunima Uras, CNN, New Delhi.